Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this meeting of the West County School District Number One Board. I'm calling this meeting to order. Would you join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? Dana, would you lead us tonight? Sure. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and welcome. We will ask for an approval of the agenda. I have no additions. It's been moved and seconded to approve the agenda. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, aye. nay. Motion carried. Recognitions. I hope everybody's having a good summer. So, Madam Chair, I do. Thank you. Um, and I could do this under my report, but I'll do it under recognitions. But I would like to recognize um, the custodial staff you know, maintenance, the office crew, um, double aces, because um, although some are on breaks, many of them don't get breaks. And I think if you, you know, go around and look at things getting done, programs that are wrapping up, um, pretty good stuff. Yes, thank you. Um, I was just going to say, we, we did have a Buildings and Grounds Committee meeting prior to the beginning of this meeting. And I, so I just wanted to recognize Adam and his staff because they have accomplished a whole lot. And it's only July 17th. So thank you for that. Any other recognitions, Paul? Madam Chair, I'd like to recognize Amanda Finley. She's in the bookmobile. So kudos to her. It's hot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's so windy some days. I'm sure it's, Interesting ride in there. All right. Any other recognitions? Okay, now we'll move on to visitors' comments. I see none of those. So action items, the consent agenda. We have a motion. It's been moved and seconded to approve the consent agenda. I did just add, want to add one comment that um, the WTI bid recommendation uh, for work at the elementary school um, is approved by uh, the School Facilities Commission. That expenditure is approved. So all we need to do is uh, approve that tonight and they'll be able to begin very soon. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, aye. nay. Motion is carried. Old business, our technology policy drafts. Yes, and in, those are in your packet. I would recommend to the board the approval of the drafts of those policies on second reading. Vote to approve. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve technology policy drafts, IJNDC-R, artificial intelligence, IJNDC-R1, risk assessment for technology, IJNDC-R2, lease privilege accounts and administrative privileges, and IJ IJNDC-E, service lease agreement. And these are all on second reading. Does anyone have any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Oppose, aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Revision to the 24-25 elementary student handbook. Yeah, and the reason for this revision, um, which I will be recommending to you, um, really just allows us a little bit more flexibility um, when it comes time for like snow days, e either um, a late start or early dismissal. So I would um, recommend the approval of those revisions in the handbook as noted. We have a motion to approve. I'll make that motion. 
Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the revision to the 2425 elementary student handbook. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. nay. Motion carried. New business, classified recommendation. Madam Chair, I would recommend to the board, Renee Cundy as a kitchen assistant. Move to approve. Okay. It's been moved and seconded to approve the classified recommendation for Renee Cudney as a kitchen assistant. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Classified recommendation. I would recommend to the board Jody Irons as a custodian. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the classified recommendation for Jody Irons as a custodian. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. no. Motion carried. Classified recommendation. I would recommend Tracy Gale as a bus route driver. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the classified recommendation for Tracy Gale as a bus route driver. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Classified resignation. I would recommend the resignation of Marilyn Lunny as a bus route driver and ask permission to post that position. It's been moved and seconded to approve the classified resignation for Marilyn Lenny as a bus route driver and to post the position. And I would just like to say thank you very much for many, many years of safely driving um, kids all over creation. So thank you, Marilyn. <laughs> all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Certified transfer. I would recommend to the board um, the certified transfer of Alana Manaz, Alondra uh, Manaz, um, from third grade um, to a second grade teacher. Move to approve. Second. Okay. okay. It's been moved and seconded to approve the certified transfer of Alondra Manaz from third to second grade. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. And thank you, Alondra, uh, for making that move to help us out. Motion is approved. Bid recommendation for Suburbans. I would recommend to the board the bid proposal from Newcastle Motors for two Suburbans in the amount of 123000 Four hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the bid proposal from Newcastle Motors for two Suburbans for one hundred twenty-three thousand four hundred fifty-eight dollars. Um, I do have one question. So, are we replacing? Are there some we're replacing? Yes. Yes, they will replace two of the. Staff vehicles, which will in, ter in turn replace two of like the like a custodial or uh, we'll one of the other ones. them down. Yes. Okay, and then they'll go out for bid for the oldest ones. Okay, so that's what I wanted to double check. Not, not bid, but uh, right to surplus. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carried. Six. A six. Oh, Jason? Well, I just had that question for Brad after we voted for those. Brad, where are we at now with with um, bus drivers and custodians now? We are, um, we are still short custodial maintenance. And I want to say two to three bus route 
drivers. Um, my biggest concern as we meet tonight probably is going to be more towards the activity side. Um, we might be able to get by with, you know, combining routes in which we've done in the past. Um, but the toughest thing to get everyone to realize is, you know, when you have three or four middle school events and two or three high school events, um, there's going to have to be some give. Um, I think some of that may even come in other forms, i.e., I think you could in anticipate a referee shortage. Um, and on my list of things to do is probably talk about um, how we're going to have to prioritize different kinds of trips when we are short, i.e. your varsity trips are going to have to, you know, trump everything else. And instead of maybe three, four middle school activities, you might only be able to do, you know, one or two. Um, it's just, it's sort of a sign of the times. Um, the CDL, I think, is getting more and more challenging. Um, but I think staffing patterns in general uh, are, are not getting any easier. I mean, we're still, and I just jinxed myself here, um, until of yesterday, you know, we were still very, very short on any teaching apps. And then yesterday afternoon, for some strange reason, we end up with two elementary apps. So that could change some of our staffing patterns as well. Um, but I think everything, as I just mentioned, um, it's going to be a week to be week kind of a basis on whether we're going to be able to meet those demands. All right. It is not eight o'clock, so we will go on to our administrator, director, superintendent, and board reports. Do you have anything for us, Angie, before the budget hearing? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just, I've been working on the budget, um, starting the new school year, so it's kept me busy. Um, uh, both, you know, CeeLo and Grace have been a lot of help, so that, that that's pretty much all I had, just what I was doing, been working on. So. Anyone have questions for Angie? No, thank you. Adam. You have a big list to share with these guys about what you've been up to. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, yeah, so some of the completed projects that we've done so far this this summer is a retaining wall in the back of the middle school had got knocked down, snow plowing. Um, John Francis come put that back up. Um, the gym floors in the Dogie Dome have been done. There was a patch on the elementary roof that is completed. Um, scuffers at the commons have been completed. Um, there's a roof patch in the high school that is done and we've done with help from summer help, um, lots of summer projects, um, hallway lights now all match. They're all bright white instead of go down in summer yellow and summer white. And, um, we saved all the yellow lights. They'll go in the classrooms. They cover most of them up with those covers anyway. Um, ceiling tiles all the way through the middle school have for the most part been replaced that were scuffed up, beat up, broke. Um, we are looking for tiles to match high school. Um, there are some in classrooms that need changed, water damaged, um, and we're trying to find tiles to match. The guys went through sinks, toilets, uh, tree trimming, the regular mowing, um, sprinklers. We've spent a month and a half changing sprinkler heads. I think they've changed well over 90 at this point. Um, that's about it. Been lots of stuff. Adam, if you would, I know you put this out, but could you just give a, another brief update on, on the field, please? Oh, yeah, so I sent that out to all the board. Um, as of today, the football field dirt work is totally done. They brought in uh, two to three inches of cover of uh, topsoil and that dirt work is done it's on its final grade what you see now is what it's going to be minus the grass um the monday the sprinkler guys will be here to install sprinklers um they thought they'd be done with that tuesday late night wednesday sometime um 
if all goes well, they will, as soon as they're done, they'll start pouring the water to the dirt. I mean, just drowning it. Um, the week after that, sod will be here. Um, they're talking of laying that sod in a couple of days. So by the end of the, whatever week that is, by the end of July, it, the sod should be in. Um, it needs to sit for four weeks, four to five weeks um, before we play on it. That puts you at the first of September. So if all goes well, um, we should be playing football on it without much problems. Um, everything has to, I mean, one little hiccup and that will change things. But as of right now, we're sitting right where we want to be. That the CEO, he, he was building a case for Piper Allard's removal. There was no doubt that that was revealed in that meeting. Was working with personnel from H and H Leadership Solutions to do that. So this situation now, who knows what information gets uncovered with an active, aggressive, targeted investigation with a purpose. You can generate information about people. You don't know if it's true. You don't know if it's valid. But if you have that information, you can't let people go back to work. I have. I know nothing. The board's done a good job of not telling anybody anything because this is a true sticky personnel situation where you have to be very careful for Piper's protection because God knows what's been said about her or turned up about her. But the, once those things are said, you have to investigate them. And so the board's in a position where they have to – follow through on that and bring closure to that. Um, everything has to, I mean, one little hiccup and that will change things. But as of right now, we're sitting right where we want to be. And I don't know if you can answer it, Adam, but the seams and all that. So after that four or five weeks, all the seams should be, I mean, we're not going to have, he claims four to five weeks, um, and for that four to five weeks, it will be water 24 hours a day. I mean, it will be water running off that thing. Um, he claims in four to five weeks, as long as you can go out there, can't pick up on it, um, it's rooted, everything will be have grown together. Um, and he said you will physically probably be able to see seams, but he said as far as feeling them when you're out there, he said you won't shouldn't be able to okay. um the mowing and the watering should level everything off well enough okay and adam did tell us as well that um we're gonna have um something that we can share uh on like our social media and with uh, the press to give them an update on that schedule too right that would be my recommendation is it seems to be the 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 topic um at, at hand um or at least one of them and so i think the more information that we can get out there it might might sort of help some of the rumor problem maybe mitigate some of damage control yep just a thought that way everybody will know what's going on so but everyone will still have their own story to what they think is going on as well. And everybody did get that email that I sent out. Yes, okay. we all did. Yeah. Did we just did you just do it? No, we all got Last it Friday. around the twelfth. No, I don't think I did. Okay. Um, I'll look. My website and my school. My school yeah. email doesn't work. I can send it to you. Could you check on? I would love to help you with that problem. <laughs> Due to my lack of skill set. Yes, Angie. Thank you, Madam Chair. I forgot Taylor's been a big help as well. So oh. Don't leave anybody else. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Does anyone have anything else? Oh I, you did have something. You're good. Okay. Sorry, Paul. Thanks, Adam. I mean, I appreciate you coming in and actually talking to us, sending out emails. Communication's been great, so thank you. You're welcome. That makes it a lot. It makes it a lot easier when somebody asks you a question when you can say, "I have the answer," because Adam told us so. Thank you. Yeah, Adam said. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate that a lot. Thank you. All right, and Teresa, we'll get to you in a little bit here. I think. 
pretty quickly. All right, Brad. Madam Chair, um, I think the most important part is what I had to say earlier. Um, you know, it's it's about that time. I mean, it's it's school time. We're halfway through summer. So if you didn't get anything done, I would tell you, you better hurry up and get it done. Um, and I, I guess more importantly, if, are there any questions for me? I mean, that's. Um, I would ask you, if you do have some time, drive through the bus loop or really don't go through the bus loop. That's a bad idea. But if you go through the middle school parking lot and you look over, all that outdoor learning center is all done and tied together. Um, it looks really good. Um, and again, I think everyone has really worked extremely hard this summer. Um, and I'm really proud of the job that they've done. Um, I know that the budget is always a very stressful time. Um, but Angie and everyone that, you know, has to come together to put that out. Um, it's not a bad budget. I agree. Does anyone have any questions for Brad? All right. Board reports. Do you have any meetings, Dana? The Eastern Wyoming BOCES had their budget hearing, passed a budget, it's just a little under four million, I think. And it went well. It takes about 15 minutes. <laughs> Brad. If I may, I've got okay. Andy knows what I think. <laughs> Our uh one percent is is that the it's point, point, point half, half, a, half a million. It's like seventy three or seventy six thousand. So it's in my. But EWC was looking at doing something on their funding, so that the programs that had the most students served would would get some kind of a percentage of a, of a rate change. Did that happen? Mm -hmm. For us, I don't think so. Oh, I right. think. What they had us in as at the half a mil was right at eighty thousand, and I think what they said on the paperwork was it's going to be about a hundred and two thousand, and they had us down for a possible two hundred and twenty ADM for the upcoming. Does that sound right? High school. Yep, nine through twelve. Yep. Does anyone have any questions? No, thank you. Jason. Uh, same thing. Uh, we had our budget hearing. Um, I know we were, I think it's uh, Cheyenne looking at a new director there. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, that just business as usual. Like I said, the big thing was just the budget. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, we had um, a successful webbed meeting. went went over a lot of. Um, we actually they pulled up. I think I told you this. Um, they pulled up the registration system that the districts use, and we actually had a person there with us who it was their account. So we could look and see everything that you guys do, which is pretty cool. And then we're moving our August meeting because there's not a lot that happens between June and, and August. We're going to go ahead and meet in September now. Um, and then we'll, we'll be in San Diego the week before the WSBA conference. No, the same week as the WSBA conference. Um. Mm -hmm. And then I have I have told Jason on September uh, September twenty fourth. That's a Tuesday we're meeting um, for that one. That um, I will not be here, so Jason will be doing the job that day. And that's all I have. 
anyone have anything else to report, Jason? Did they get a hold of you about that window facing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's. They called me. Um, it's been broke for a couple of years. Um, <laughs> they just seen it. Um, it is. I've got it. a contractor looking at it. Yes, to replace yeah. that outer pane. Someone saw it. Finally. So, oh, about that, Brad, and it was not. Oh, it was in time. Hmm. All right. Future agenda items. Um, <clears throat> I have had uh, no communications from our law firm. And so I have no updates on that. But I will tell you this, that um, I will make sure that we get some of those by our next meeting, one way or the other. So I have um, that we will have a, a legal update at our next meeting, which will probably have to be an executive session. One way or the other. All right. Anyone else? Future agenda items? Paul. I don't know if this is a future agenda item or not, but do we still have the simulator for the truck driving thing? Is that still here or something like that? Yes, we do. Okay. So where I'm going with this is now that we've got, it's my understanding we're going to have online abilities for learning with Sheridan. So is that something that you think we could dovetail into trying to offer like a CDL driving course or something like that to students? Would that be possible to use what we've got along with the technology we've just gained to maybe offer yes. something? To answer the, the quick question is yes. The problem is, is when we looked at this last time, it was an age limit. Most of our students don't. I mean, they could do like the the pre stuff, mm -hmm. but they actually don't hit the legal age to actually obtain the CDL license. Um, I think at one time, Kim Councilman was looking at through community ed, she was going to offer something similar to that, but it wasn't fast enough. It needed to be people couldn't couldn't work on our time schedule they needed more more service more rapidly um but yeah it is something that um i mean there's a forklift there's a cdl what else is all on that thing mike do you know there's um i know you've had to set it up so CDL side of it. There's some gigging equipment on there. There's yeah. some other truck driving stuff, like haul truck simulators. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I was just thinking, because I know a lot of our students now, at least the ones that talk to me, have no desire to go to college. And I figured anything that you could give them, because let's face it, it's like anything else. Some people enjoy that kind of work and some people don't. I realize it's a simulator and I realize they're young, but if they could get their feet wet and maybe gain some knowledge either way, whether that is something they wanted to pursue or something they have absolutely no interest in, if it's something that we can do for our students without you know, hiring extra staff mm -hmm. or doing those big budget items, I thought maybe it would be something that would be beneficial for our kids. Yeah, that CDL, um, any kind of certification for um, welding, um, any of those are, are huge areas. And let's face it, I mean, go to college for four years and come out and make 60 or go for two years and come out and make 300,000. Mm -hmm. what, what do you want to do as a young man? I just figured if we could get them exposed to as much as we could, it might help them pick their career path to where they're not stumbling right out of the yep. gate. It was just a thought. Like I said, I don't know if yeah, uh, it's up and it's it's running. I watched a couple of students last last spring, um, and they were doing the CDL piece of it. Um, so yeah, it is there, and the software is all there, and and the capabilities of that thing are are pretty amazing. Um, I mean it. 
as much as you want to buy, it'll do. Would that be something we could show like this sixth graders on their jumpstart day? I don't there's think there's enough. I don't want to speak for the schedule. That would be something that that they'd have to work out with their electives because that room is used quite a bit for other services. Um, well, I'm just thinking if if we make sure all the kids know it's there or they might get a chance to try it once at a mm -hmm. younger age, like sixth, seventh, eighth grade, then they might be more apt to want to take advantage of it. I got to tell you, the CDL piece was a little over my head. <laughs> I mean, there were some things there that you had to be paying. You, I mean, it wasn't just a sit down, play a video game kind of a deal. Mm -hmm. There was there was quite a bit of thinking that had to go with that. And then you had to read a brochure. <clears throat> After the brochure, you had to follow different directions. It was a lot of technical kinds of reading. I'm not sure. I'm not saying sixth graders couldn't. Um, I'm just saying at sixth grade, I couldn't. Yeah, That's and I'm not suggesting they do a whole course. I'm just suggesting they get to to see it for sure and, and know it's there for their future use. And maybe not that day, but maybe some other time to make sure they can see it. Anybody else have any discussion items? Seeing none, I will officially, may I have a motion to recess this meeting and we can move on to rec board and we'll come back for our budget meeting at 8 p.m. Second. It's been moved and seconded to recess our meeting and come back uh, for our budget hearing. We'll move on for our rec board. So um, just a uh, recognition for lifeguards. We had a lot of new lifeguards, but they did really well with some lessons. And so, yeah, it was busy at the pool. There are a lot of people are sad it's closing Sunday. <laughs> the new store. This is the one stop shop. We have a pharmacy. We have a bootleggers liquor, the deli, the food that you can get at a lunchtime is so amazing. The coffee shop, certain Friday mornings, there's 30 people sitting here in all these chairs. This is the hub for people to come and visit, have their coffee, have their donuts. It's amazing what this area has done. Totally amazing. And so, yeah, it was busy at the pool. There are a lot of people who are sad it's closing Sunday. <laughs> been properly moved and seconded um any discussion seeing none all those in favor signify by saying aye aye all those opposed the same sign because then jen is approved we'll move on to old business i see none and i see no new business unless anybody has anything um is there anything for your information with the campery is kind of on my mind so their insurance, I've got their insurance and everything, and they're planning on coming through. It's just Sunday, August 4th, just overnight. It's kind of a pass through. I need to have your fingers turned off for that. Yes, and I was going to email you. I think we're, we're, leave them on. Yeah, I think we've forgotten on other things. So we're planning on doing it just by the pool in front of the school grounds. It's 70 to 80 kids because of the football field being. And the sprinklers will need to be turned off, please. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The kids might not mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the supervisor. Yeah. So anyway, that, yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, I'll be here. And if there's inclement weather, we can shuffle them into the school. Okay. 
Um, I see no more information. We'll move on to discussion items. The weight room hour extensions. Yep. So the end of the 30 day they, we started April 30th. I did look at my sign up sheet. And so the end of July would be the end of the 90 day period. Um, we've averaged between five and six during that time. Um, and I haven't had any problems with them not showing up or anything. So it's been working fine. Um, so I guess I just need approval to keep continuing on with it. Jason. Are, are you looking at the next step more of a permanent or another block and then just keep reevaluating that? What's what's your, I thoughts? guess that would be at the, board's discretion um i don't want it to be a paid position so if they decide they don't want to do it anymore i say it goes away that's my recommendation okay so you're gonna have to help me on this so do can we get a motion to pass this then right now or it's not listed on our action items so but i would think we could just say we'll just continue on and and reevaluate i do you, i mean we could say until april that would be a full year but reevaluate if necessary okay so yeah i think you can so we don't need to vote on it or anything then we'll just we, it's already approved we just wanted to report yeah. on how it's working yeah we were just going to do the 90 day trial to see how it goes okay so we'll just keep doing it as is then okay um, is there any other discussions that anybody has? Seeing none, meeting adjourned. Ladies and gentlemen, I will call this meeting back to order. It's 7.59. In one minute, we will have the public hearing on budget for the 24-25 school year. It's in everyone's packet. And we'll have the Deputy song right now. Oh. It is 8 p.m. And for the record, we'll note there's a, one member of the public here in person, and we have three folks online. And you're on. Thank you, Madam Chair. So the, the presentation of the 24-25 um, budget, school budget, for the general fund, um, we're anticipating $4,500,000 4, in local revenues, $600,000 in county revenues, and $11,612,000 in state revenues giving us a total of $16,712,000. I can't talk. Our general fund carryover from the 23-24 um, school year was uh, $1.7 million. It may not be quite final. I was um, looking at that. Um, so remember, all these numbers are estimates. We're proposing them. Um, they could change. So our fund carryover for uh, for the 23-24 school year that carries over to the 24-25 school year, our major maintenance had $750,126. The lunch fund had a little over $30,000. Our rec fund had $107,000. Our capital construction fund had $2,458. The special revenue fund had $13,823. And the BOCES fund had $38,577. And those are balances at the end of June. Our proposed expenditures for 2425, um, I broke it down in wages. The certified staff is $6,668,073. Administrators, $913,369. Directors, $804,203. Uh, the counselors, $157,296. Professional staff, 
$392,883. Our support staff, $3,189,329. And other for supplies, uh, utilities, that would be um, $4,594,947. Which our total expenditure budget would be the $16,720. $720,100. Um, that includes benefits in those wages. Um, the I I actually put in there also the what we the reimbursements like general fund um, pays the kitchen wages and then the kitchen the food service reimburses. But I put it on there because that's our what we're we need to spend that we will get reimbursed for that. So I put the numbers in there like that way. Uh, for the fiscal 24, we had a approved budget of $16,152,976. And our expenses year to date were $14,023,296. So for the budget adoption, um, the general fund at the $16,720,100. Federal fund, uh, $1,041,242. Major maintenance fund, 910,000. Lunch fund, 355,000. Recreation fund, 153,784. Agency fund, which is your, the BOCES, 76,866. Special revenue, 13,823. Capital construction fund is 2,457. Um, the mill levy is the 25 district-wide mills the six six county wide mills, one district wide mill to support the Northwest Weston County Recreation District approved in May of 2024. And then there's a half district wide mill to support the EWC BOCES approved in May of okay, 2024. I, I do have one question. So do you mean the Eastern Weston County Recreation District, not the Northwest Weston? We're not no, in Northwest Western. I, I might. It should just say Eastern Western Eastern County. Western. Yep. Sorry, I didn't notice that before when I looked through this, or I would have let you know. Yes, yes. Sorry for that. Okay. So that is the proposed estimated budget for the fiscal 24 25 school year. All right. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Paul. I'm just curious, what is the special revenue fund? It is a fund that I've had to ask the auditor and that it was a fund that was money was taken out of general fund years ago and put into this fund for um Brad may have to help me out. Um so several years ago, there was um, federal monies that came to the school district, um, and I think the actual title was it was called Brownsfields monies, and it was when the Ice House for years sat over um, by the middle school there, you know, where the ice skating rink was, um, so during that period of time, they had stored rat poison in there. And so the district, as I understood, received federal monies to um, mediate the soil. Uh, they tore down the, the ice shack and they did whatever the, the federal regs said. And then from that, there was a chunk of money um, and one of the things that I remember that we did with this money is the new scoreboard in the pool. Um, and there was another project, but I can't remember what it was. But anyway, there was some leftover funds from that. And I believe at that time, through the auditor, you couldn't return the money because of the way it was allocated. But you had to set up a special reserve fund in case there was additional remediation measures that were to occur there 
that would be the money that you use. And so truly, it is really awkward because it's money that's yours, but you really can't use it because you can only use it for for that specific kind of a of of a of an issue. Um, and holy smokes, guys, um, that's been. Um, it's been yeah, um, yeah, it's been quite some time. In fact, Adam was just asking this question yesterday. I think you know, really, it's half of that corner of the middle school parking lot, and then that collection pond is really that area. So, as far as any kind of extra measures to medi mitigate any soil contaminations. You know, that all went when we redid that, the middle school buildings and the parking lot and X, Y, and Z. So this money sort of sits there and you really can't do anything with it, but you have to make sure that you you at least account for it. Did so, that help? Do you think possibly the, the, settle, the settlement of soils back in that area that he was talking about during Buildings and Grounds Committee, do you think you could use some of that? No, but, well, maybe. I think it would be a stretch because that ground mitigation was was more to the to the west and, and really where that water line, I believe, yeah. is what that was. That it was really almost a divider of that field or, or more on that field. Um, I'm not saying you can't i'm just saying when i say that maybe then business managers get really nervous because that would probably be an auditor question right. more than anything just a thought good thought any other questions or comments anyone online i don't see any hands raised comments 13000 dollars 13823 and honestly didn't you give me another project with that This is our public hearing. We already approved our budget, right? Or do we need to adopt this? We need to adopt. Are we doing just the one reading of it? Yes. Okay. And the one hearing. Okay. That's what I wanted to make sure. All right. We have a motion to approve the proposed budget for the 24-25 school year. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the budget for the the proposed budget for the 24-25 school year. Is there any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Aye. <laughs> Delayed. Motion carried. Does anyone have anything else to come before this board? If not, we will adjourn the meeting. Thanks for joining us, Tina. Nice work. Thank you. Nice work. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you.